Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this little story time kind of video because yesterday I had one of the most amazing experiences of my life, I think. Um, so, as you were probably all are aware that it was the end of season dinner yesterday and I've never been to one of these events before but as it had been such a special season and for me personally going to all the games I thought it would be a nice way to top off the season by going to the dinner and I hoped that I would be able to get a photo with some of the key players, uh, which I did. Uh, managed to get a photo with Ruben Neves and Connor Cody and Doherty, uh, as well as a few others. But then obviously the dream was to get a photo with Nuno. Now, uh, the way that the dinner worked, there was like the starter and then you were able to go up and have photos and then when the mains came you had to sit down and you know, etc. So, in between the... Uh, in between the starter and the main, I went up and I queued up for a few players and had photos with a few players. And then I was in the queue for Nuno and was probably the next person to have their photos taken. But he sort of looked at me and he said, oh, you know, so come back as his food arrived. So that was fine. I went back, had my food. And then I went back up again in between uh, my main and my dessert. Um, and I went up with my two cousins, one of whom actually met Nuno in Birmingham the night of the Sheffield Wednesday game when they were all out celebrating, and she had a photo with him then. And I was very, very cramped and claustrophobic around Nuno at this point, so he knew that we were standing behind him, and having had a few photos from a few men on in front of him, he turned around and he said, let's have these photos with these ladies. So he took a picture of my two cousins together, and one of them said, oh, do you remember me? I um, I met you a couple of weeks ago oh, at uh, in Birmingham. He said, yes, 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 I remember. And then he pointed at me and he said, you. And I said, no, 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 I, I wasn't there either. I wasn't there. And he said, no, no, I know you. My heart stopped. I was like, hang on a minute. Nuno knows who I am. And he said, are you a journalist? I said, <laughs> I said well, I like to think I am. Um, and he said, yeah, I've, I've, I said, have you, you've seen my YouTube channel? And he said, yeah. So you are now watching the YouTube channel that Nuno, he doesn't always watch it, he said. He's not a true subscriber like some of you lot, but he, uh, he said he's watched a few videos, he's skimmed through some, which is just amazing. When I set this channel up uh, about 18 months ago now, I didn't, <laughs> first of all, didn't even envisage me getting anywhere near the subscribers that I have got uh, now, but I also didn't think that it would actually have the legs to actually be watched by people at the club. And for Nuno to have watched anything that I've ever said is just incredible. Um, so yeah, it was a very, I don't, I don't want to say surreal, it's, it was almost, it felt like a dream, it felt like everything that I've worked for in this YouTube channel has was sort of realised last night with Nuno saying that he knew who I was. It was a <laughs> really, really uh, amazing moment. But thank you, everybody who supported the channel and everybody who's come up and recognised me over this season. Unfortunately, you've just been trumped by the man himself. So <laughs> I feel very, very uh, humbled by that. But the rest of the night itself was uh, was really entertaining. The awards. You can't argue with Ruben Neves being the player's player or the fans' player of the season or the goal of this season. I think he's deserved all three of those awards. Diogo Jota picking up the uh, top goal scorer. And then the, the touching awards, the Hay Rachel Hayhoe Flint Award going to Steve Planter for his tremendous charity work all season. That was, that was great. So the awards for the younger players as well. Ryan Giles won the Academy Player of the Year and Morgan Gibbs White won the Young, young Professional of the Year. And two of, you know, they've got, this, I haven't heard much of this Ryan Giles, but the way that they were talking about him uh, was really, really optimistic. And if we've got players like that who can still come through the academy with all of this uh, money being thrown at the club, I think it'd be really, really tremendous for the club to keep that heart and soul there of Wolves based players. So yeah, lovely night. Thank you to Nuno for watching. And of course the evening was topped off beautifully by a Southampton win, putting West Bromwich Albion down to the championship. So yeah, thank you very much again for watching and supporting the channel. I made me to have a little video out in the next couple of days about all my sort of best bits or the story of my season, looking back on some of the videos that I've done. Uh, so look out for that in the next couple of days. Bye-bye.